The Science Museum Group has a collection of more than 7 million items. Today, space curator Doug Millard shows why one very special chair now sits here in the collection, as I discover another story from the stores. When they said space chair, this is not exactly what I had in mind. It doesn't look like a space chair, does it? It looks like a dining chair with some boxes attached to it. This has come all the way from Houston, Texas, Mission Control. This is a real chair that was used to train astronauts on. Which missions would have used this for training? Uh, this would have been used for, for example, the Hubble Space Telescope deployment and probably the servicing missions. This actual chair dates back to the mid-60s, so it's possible it was also used on the Apollo program. Wow, and it's a very basic chair apart from what's attached to it. Well, the controls to my mind are similar to sort of early video games and yeah. computer games. And in a way, that's what they do. They just uh, allow you to manipulate, uh, in this case, the remote manipulator arm of the, uh, the shuttle to enable uh, the uh, coordination between hand and eye, because that's how it was done. It was very basic uh, operation. So is there like a 2010s equivalent out there with a, a flat pack chair and a, a joystick from a video game shop? I imagine there would be because the, this remote manipulator arm is uh, being updated and it's used on the space station, in fact several of them, so uh, there'd be some device equivalent to this that the astronauts and cosmonauts can use to actually train how to grab things and move them along the space station. It looks almost bodged together, but this is such a well, massive thing. Th this is it, you see. Um, we're sometimes sort of bewitched by the spectacle of space exploration, the romance and the... Uh, it seems very remote, literally, but actually you've got to start by building things like this. To my mind, it is this juxtaposing of the space age with a, an everyday looking chair. It's just gloriously evocative. <laughs>